Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through the folly of the cross wondrously taught Saint Justin the Martyr, the surpassing knowledge of Jesus Christ, grant us through his intercession that having rejected deception and error, we may become steadfast in the faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Miletus, 
Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock, of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward, perverting the truth, to draw the disciples away after them. So be vigilant, and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonished each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God and to that gracious word of His that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way I have shown you that by hard work of that sort, we must help the weak. And keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus, who himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him, for they were deeply distressed that he had said, that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Show forth, O God, your power, the power, O God, with which you took our part. For your temple in Jerusalem, let the kings bring you gifts. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. You kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Chant praise to the Lord, who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, his voice resounds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Over Israel is his majesty, his power is in the skies. Awesome in his sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Please stand. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one, just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name, 
that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world. And I consecrate myself for them so that they also may be consecrated in truth. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning to all of you. One of the most, impo most painful human experience is being abandoned by someone who is so dear to us. When a mother tells her child, behave or else I will leave you, the child cries terribly. According to some psychologists, the feeling of the child at that moment is like death. That is why psychologists discourage such form of punishment in disciplining children. When as children they always experience abandonment, as grown-ups, they will cling to their friends or husbands or wives, even if they are being exploited and humiliated. I remember a battered wife who told her husband, Hit me as much as you want. Just don't leave me. A review of her background revealed that she grew up with a single parent who always abandoned her when she was a child. My dear brothers and sisters, our Lord Jesus Christ knew the pain and the feeling of insecurity of being abandoned. That is why in the Gospel reading today, he made a very touching prayer for his disciples before he left them. He asked his Father to keep them in his name. Name here does not only mean the name given to a person, but also refers to his or her uniqueness. According to scholars, the uniqueness of the Father is his unconditional love. So Jesus asked his Father and his disciples would be kept in his Father's love and never be abandoned in spite of who they are, what they have been, and wherever they will be. 
and the disciples will experience the same love as Jesus received from his Father. We can conclude from this, my dear brothers and sisters, experiencing oneness with God will make our joy complete and will give a feeling of total security. A good example and model of this is the saint or our saint for today, Saint Justin the Martyr. He may not be the most well-known or popular of saints, but he is important figure in the early history of the Catholic Church because he lived just after the time of the apostles about 100 to 165 AD. He was a philosopher by training and he used his philosophical background to become the most important apologist for the church, for the Christian faith of the second century because he is the first apologist of whom we have surviving written works. The, these writings are precious for the information they give us about the practice of the Christian faith in the transition period from the time of the apostles to the consolidation of such structures in the period immediately after that. And if you will go back to his life during the time of the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius, there was a strong persecution against the Christians. Justice, Justin was denounced to the authorities as a Christian. And he and his companions were ordered to sacrifice to the gods. He proclaimed, and I quote, No one in his right mind is going to turn away from the worship of the true God to worship false gods. So, he was beheaded, and we now gratefully honor him as Justin the Martyr. Justin experienced oneness with God. He never felt being abandoned. That is why until the end, he is ready to give his life for the God whom he believes because he experienced unconditional love from the Father. St. Paul said in his letter to the Corinthians, If God is with us, who can be against us? Our parents might abandon us. Our best friends might betray us. Our brothers and sisters might reject us, but there is somebody who will never abandon us, our loving Father who loves us unconditionally. Please stand. As we prepare for Pentecost, we know that even as we live in the world, we do not belong to the world. This truth calls us to pray for all people in union with Christ who wills that no one be lost. Father, consecrate us to yourself. Father, consecrate us to yourself. 
that all Christians may have faith in God's love and find unity in the one shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, consecrate, consecrate us to yourself. That public servants may witness to the truth of their faith, especially in the exercise of their powers and in the fulfillment of their responsibilities. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, consecrate, consecrate us to yourself. That the Christian faithful may strive to seek holiness in their daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, consecrate, consecrate us to yourself. That the old, the lonely, the handicapped, and the sick may trust in God who strengthens them with the warmth of his presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, consecrate us to yourself. That those who have died may live forever with God who is love. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, consecrate us to yourself. Gentle Father, as we, as long as we have love one another, you live in us and your love will be complete in us. Receive our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, that we may celebrate worthily these mysteries which St. Justin strenuously defended through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, St. Justin, poured out like Christ to glorify your name shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through christ our lord and so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Justin the Martyr, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Friends, this is Jesus, our Savior, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring Amen. us to everlasting life. Amen. The body of Christ.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of St. Justin the Martyr, we may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gifts we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. On this day, remember in your prayer all those expecting the birth of a child and that life will be respected at all its stages. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. The gift of counsel applies our knowledge and understanding to the many con concrete situations of everyday life. Counsel elevates the virtue of prudence so that we will choose the wisest course of action in a given situation, especially when we are perplexed as to the right choice to be made. Counsel in those us with a desire to act always in a way that promotes our sanctification and salvation in accordance with God's holy will. We pray that the Holy Spirit will richly endow us with the ability to judge rightly the situations that challenge, that challenge our faith so that we may not waver along the path to holiness. Let us pray. 
Father, Father send, send the spirit of counsel upon us for the, for the accomplishment of your holy will in, in our, our lives, in the church and in the world. Incline our hearts to your will, our minds to your right judgment, and our actions to what is good, so that living by the Holy Spirit, we may truly be salt and light for others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary, Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Please stand. As we dedicate the month of June to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, the Healing Rosary for the World tonight at 9 p.m. will be hosted by the Diocesan Shrine and the Parish of Sagrado Corazon de Jesus in San Rafael, Bulacan. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.